This is the CBS Evening News. Connie Chung reporting. Good evening. It was D-Day, Deutschmark Day, as the West German mark officially became the currency of both Germanys. Economic unification, a prelude to political unification. As Tom Fenton reports, it was a time to celebrate. The parties lasted until well after midnight, but they were low-key affairs. Thousands of Germans ushered in the new era by singing. Probably for the last time, the old anthem of communist East Germany. Some legal niceties remain, and there's an election to be held in December, but today's monetary union and the takeover of the East by the West German Deutschmark makes the process of unification irreversible. There was a mob scene when one bank opened its doors at midnight, the official hour of the disappearance of the East German currency. A truck driver became the first East German to collect his Deutschmarks and begin a new way of life. By midday, there were lines outside banks all over East Germany. People were treating it as a serious matter, carefully counting their first hard currency in 40 years. This was the payoff after the weeks of uncertainty leading up to D-Day. In towns like this all over East Germany, they're having what amounts to a national clearance sale. That's because with Western goods freely available, nobody will want to buy things marked made in East Germany. People cleaned out the shelves and stands of everything from East German chocolate to East German shoes, all being sold at a fraction of cost. And they lined up for hours to fill their tanks and cans with the last of the cheap East German gasoline. In East Berlin, there was already a hint of possible trouble to come. City garbage men went on a three-day strike, their first ever to demand the same wages as West German garbage men. They won an immediate 33% pay raise. Other unions will take note. Both Germanys now have the same currency and the same fiscal and welfare systems. And with the removal of the final barriers to free travel, East and West Germany, for all practical purposes, are now one. Tom Fenton, CBS News, Berlin.